Welcome again to the next, this episode of the Code Maven screencast. Uh, this time we are going to talk about getting started with Git on Microsoft Windows. My name is Gabor Sabo, and uh, here at uh, this uh, link you can find some slides that I've created, and we are going to use them uh, at one point. Uh, I, in this video, I assume two things. Well, first of all, that you are on Microsoft Windows, and that you have watched the previous video. Uh, about uh, downloading and installing Git, and then you follow the instructions there, and you already have Git SCM, the command line version, installed. At, the at that video, well, if not, then please do watch that video and install Git. Um, at that video, we we start we finished uh, by opening uh, the, uh, the Git Bash window and uh, seeing what's in there. And this time we are going to start with that. So I click the, on the Windows button, type in git uh, bash. It will offers me to to start the git bash uh, application. That opens uh, a window which is a bash terminal. Bash is uh, the regular standard terminal of, of Linux systems and and Mac OS X and uh, Unix systems as well, probably. And uh, git comes with uh, a terminal like this. And don't worry, uh, we'll start learning how to use this and we'll have separate videos to go deeper how to use this uh, uh, terminal. I'll show you uh, some things now. For now, I enlarge it so you can see it better. But first of all, you're used to that uh, if you are in a file explorer, then you are in some directory and uh, on your file system. So this terminal is also looking at some directory and there is a command called pwd in order to show you that directory. And here you can see it's slash c user slash gabor sabo. So you're used to on your Windows system that there is a c drive and maybe other letters as well. And Linux systems it looks different. So this uh, view of the same disk uh, shows it it's slightly different. It shows that as if it started with slash C, it basically means the C drive, and then um, inside there is a users directory, and inside there is the your home directory, in which which in my case is Gabor Sabo. Now, if you open the if you open the file explorer, then uh, you can uh, visit the local disk, which is C. This is the same C that you can see here. If I double click on it, then you can see the users inside and inside there is Gabor Sabo. And here you can see tons of things, uh, various uh, files and directories. Actually, we could come here on the terminal and type in ls and it would list all these things in, well, in multiple columns. Uh, but it would, would basically link the same, list the same things, except that um, it doesn't list anything that starts with uh, dot because they are sort of hidden in the uh, okay in in the Linux uh, world. So in order to see the, all of them, you can type ls minus a. Then it will also show you the ones that are starting with uh, dot. Um, now we need two things in order to get started. One of them is to uh, we need to configure or use our name and email address. And the other one is to create a directory where we can um, create our first um, Git repository and, and work with that. In order to configure our name and email address, uh, I visit the opening page where we have the, the link to the slides and I open it in a new tab because I always forget how to do this. And, um, and so I am looking at the, the slides uh, and there is this... Uh, uh, slide configure git and personalize where you can see there is the, the these commands so this is the first command and this is the second that you'll have to execute the first one defines your uh, your name and the user's name uh, and the second one is the email uh, one thing and and this information is going to be recorded with every change you make to your files every change you uh, record in git or in the words that git is used and every two change you commit uh, to git and if your repository is going to be public if your data is going to be public then it will be uh, readable by everyone uh, around the world basically so if you are worried about um, uh, about your personal information then use some other name uh, something that probably identifies you 
to people who know you are, who you are, but uh, it's not your real name. And also with the email, uh, if you don't want to, make sure that you don't share your uh, regular email address. Maybe create a separate email address specifically to use in uh, Git uh, commits. This is a whole. This is a lot of things about privacy. Uh, and I don't want to go in more into it, but this is basically important to remember that this information can easily become uh, public. So what I need to do is, um, I mean, I don't, I'm not worried because my name and email address is all over the internet, so I get tons of spam anyway, but you have to think about uh, what, what your preferences are. So I uh, control C, copy this and paste this command um, into the into this terminal so I right clicked on the on the mouse and paste and here I can uh, use the arrows to travel and then delete some parts of it and I can type in my name so this recorded my name and I can then copy paste this part and here I change it instead of foo bar I type in my own email address and uh, I don't I don't even know my email address it's not sub it's sub gub okay you see I make mistakes anyway so I finally I managed to type in my email address correctly um, let's see what uh, really uh, got configured so back to the slide this command shows the global configuration options so i paste them in and unfortunately we have even more than what we needed so now we're going to show you i'm going to show you where this file is and how you can edit it actually so we go back to the this um, uh, file explorer and now we are in the users and inside the gabor sabo directory so that's my home directory in here there is a file called .config. This is the config file that actually holds all this configuration information. So I can, uh, and I could have edited it manually, and that's what I'm going to do it now. So I use uh, Notepad++. Uh, if you don't have it, I recommend you install it. And here you can see that this is basically what I uh, entered. I thought that uh, running git config again will override it, but well, it says add now. So anyway, I can just remove these two lines which are incorrect save the file and then close the editor and then if i come back to the terminal and run the listing again then now inf the information is correct so as you can see uh, you can run the official commands but all they do is actually change a file that you have you could have edited uh, yourself so now we have configured the user and then um, we have to create a directory and in there git but i think the video is getting a bit too long for now so it's, i'm going to do it in a separate video for now what we configured is the username and the email address um, and and uh, that's a good uh, step uh, see you at one of the uh, next videos